this is uh, finding out the determinant of order 4 such questions are generally uh, very rarely asked in gate uh, but still it is better to know how can we find out uh, the determinant easily using this method uh, the row and column manipulations just just remember that uh, these questions you know if if it is a 3 by 3 matrix you could directly type it in your calc and find out the answer so they are not going to ask such questions it is just for the sake of example i you know for just i want to give you one one model how to solve it okay so uh, using this uh, we we should continuously try to see that either all the elements of a row or all the elements of a one row or one column or as many elements of a row and column become zero then what happens is we can easily expand the uh, determinant over that row or column after making it zeros now if you observe this one you can see the element one here right so whenever we get any element like that we are we are generally lucky because we can make using this one we can make all the elements of the other uh, uh, all the elements of the row of this row to be zeros so how can we make it zeros is we can multiply with 3 this one all the elements of this column and subtract it from here right and then we can multiply with 2 and subtract it from here multiply with 4 and subtract it from here isn't it therefore by doing any such operations we can actually make most of the elements zero in a row so if you observe this i am exactly doing that i am replacing column 1 with column 1 minus 3 into column 3 which means i will multiply this entire column with a constant 3 and then subtract it from this by doing such operations the value of the determinant doesn't change but the uh, format of the determinant will change that will help us in calculating the determinant easily right so uh, doing this c1 is replaced with c1 minus 3 c3 i am multiplying this entire thing with 3 and then subtracting from there and c2 is replaced with c2 minus 2 c2 which means i will multiply this with 2 and subtract it from here and c4 is replaced with c4 minus 4 c c3 right which means i am multiplying this with 4 and i am subtracting from here right therefore i got this one after all these operations from this one when i do these operations i am going to get this determinant and now if you observe this determinant most of the elements of the first row are zeros so what can we do we can expand it over that row now when i expand it over this row what i get is you know uh, this zero into the cofactor so it is going to be zero so no need zero into cofactor no need to do that but then this one it is one into cofactor of this so what is that going to be you have to remove this column and remove this row and we have to take the remaining uh, determinant and we have to find find out the cofactor so that is why i am taking the remaining determinant right and cofactor is nothing but you know see, see we have to multiply this element with the cofactor and cofactor is nothing but we have to take minus one power the indices right some of the indices what are the indices here it is the first row third column which means 1 plus 3 1 plus 3 is 4 minus 1 power 4 is uh, plus therefore i am not going to put it there right so the element multiplied with its cofactor is this entire thing now if you observe this uh, this particular uh, uh, determinant of order 3 again you can see that uh, this element this element is common with this element and this element therefore it is easier when you subtract uh, you know uh, from this row this row from r1 if you subtract r3 it will be easier for us to find out the determinant of even this 3 by 3 even though you can enter this directly in the calc and find it out i am just trying to explain you this method this is powerful okay so now when we subtract it from here which means from this one when i subtract this entire row from r1 if i subtract r3 then i am going to get 0 2 0 and all this now from this uh, again you can find out the uh, we know that uh, this most of the elements of this row are zeros therefore you can expand out the determinant over the first row so when i expand it out then i get this so why do i get minus one is because the indices of this element is uh, one two first row second column therefore minus one power one plus two is minus one power three which is minus one that is why i am putting the minus and you remove this row and this column and you take the resulting uh, determinant of order 2 which is this one and you can find out the determinant so which is nothing but 42 minus 51 so we finally get 6 right so the main intention behind showing this is how can you use the column operations and row operations and see that most of the elements of a row or column is going to be zero or you can even uh, even try and see that 
here itself if you can if you can observe it maybe you can even try and see that most of the elements uh, uh, here itself become zero like you can write r3 minus r2 so there are various ways to do it this is not the only way you can do it in your own way also but finally the answer is going to be this and remember whatever procedure you follow whatever order you do the manipulations of row or column the final answer is going to be same so whatever answer you get by your method you should it should always be six okay fine Hi. if you have planned to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of one lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the iits put together have a acceptance rate of 0.5 percent and iits universities better than iits they have very good acceptance rate like 30 percent 40 percent but all the iits put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5 percent and if you are working hard to get into iit bombay iit bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your masters in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India. And these are all the services that we provide. University shortlisting. So depending on your profile, we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply. And statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance. So you don't have to have any collateral, which, which means without any security, now you can get education loan. Getting education loan is very simple these days. And whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join game of visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494554454. Okay, thank you.